I'm Karsten, the Tether Prop, and welcome to the Prop Show. Hello, my friends. Nice to see you again on my channel. I'm Karsten, the Tether Prop, and welcome to the Prop Show. Today, a video in English language. You saw maybe on my channel my last two videos were only in German language. The reason for this one is many people ask me, hey Carson, is it possible to make a video in German language? Because we have tons of other videos on YouTube in English language. And, oh, one second. And I said, yeah, why not? And that was the reason why I started with um, Prop TV. Prop TV is, on, is my part where I talk only in German language to support a little bit the German community and yeah however today I want to make a video in <laughs> make a video in English language and it is always I think if you want to make steps forward if you want to learn something about modeling and how to do it, it is the best way that you learn a little bit English you don't must understand the whole language but you need some keywords to understand um, when the people talking about weathering, priming, um, dilute colors, or you need some special words, if you understand this one, then you can understand everything if the people are talking about modeling. However, today I want to talk about a model from the company Rubicon Models. This one here. I painted a Sherman M4 A3 Sherman with the. What was it? no glasses on I no, don't need the glasses uh, with the 76 millimeter cannon it was very nice for me to paint again um, uh, Sherman tank because it was now a little bit away from the typical German colors because I painted a lot of World War one tanks World War two tanks and one 100 scale and was now interesting for me to paint um, in scale 156 a Sherman tank in normal in a normal olive color and I want to show you now a video how I made the paint job I hope it's a little bit interesting for you and I want to start right now
Okay, my friend, you saw in the video I didn't use so much uh, resin products. I mean, I used basic stuff like uh, filter and um, wash and some, and I yeah, used some, some enamel colors for, for streaking grimes from Ammo. Um, but I didn't use so much um, resin products to make the lower part from the tank a little bit more dirty. Yeah, this is what I normally like. Yeah, to make a tank very dirty for, uh, especially a wargaming tank. But this time, these tanks or the Sherman and another tank, a Tiger tank, were made for uh, the crisis in Antwerpen. Antwerp. I think yeah, we have to say Antwerp in English. It's in Belgium. It is one of the biggest convention for historical um, wargaming stuff. And I am there with the company Hair Forty Six. To represent the models from Rubicon models and um, also the products from Hair 46. I'm sitting there and doing my uh, doing my painting stuff. I'm sitting there the whole day and try to paint some Rubicon models and some other models. And I'm also there with the European face from Rubicon models. It is Jamie Trenta. He will he will be also there in Belgium. And if you have questions about models about the tanks or about some new stuff what is what we can see maybe in the future please ask him that's the reason why he is there and um, if you have questions about painting or something like that you can ask me also there or if you want to only if you want only drink a coffee with me do it come to my table and look for some cake and a coffee and I have enough time for you to eat and to drink and to talk with you um, yeah let me think. Yeah, that's all in the moment. I hope the video was a little bit helpful. I try to make, I try it. I try to make more videos in the future, but I am a little bit short in time. Everybody knows how it is. I hope I have a little bit more time in the future and looks like that I can make more videos in the future, but I'm not sure. However, that's all. Thank you for watching my video and um, have a nice weekend. Bye bye.